Hello all, Shoestring here. Today what we're going to talk about is the care and cleaning of your tools. Tools, of course, are very expensive. Even the inexpensive ones are expensive. And we want to keep them as long as we possibly can. I try to keep my tools clean and put away, but sometimes it happens that it didn't work out that way. I found these pliers inside the bottom of my toolbox. And as you can see, they are very, very rusty and barely usable. I don't want to have to replace pliers because pliers are expensive. Now, if you go look online, there's lots of ways it says to clean rust off pliers. There's all types of chemicals and gimmicks. But the one I saw that was interesting was just using vinegar will clean the rust off. I don't know if this will work or not, but I decided to go ahead and give it a try. So, I am going to bring you guys along on the journey with me. What we're going to do is we're going to take a cup, just a regular glass. We're going to take our rusty, ooh, now barely opens, it can open a little, rusty pliers, and we're going to put them in. Just like that. Now, I'm going to take some vinegar. This is just great value, inexpensive, regular distilled vinegar. And that's what we're going to try. I'm going to pour it into the cup. I don't know if it will harm the plastic or not. So I'm not going to put it as high as the plastic. I am just going to go until the tool, the metal part, is all the way in the vinegar. And of course... Since I'm filming this, there'll have to be that much that is not. So let's take the new one and see if I can do this without spilling it. Because we all know when something's being filmed, if anything can go wrong, it most certainly will. All right, there we go. Vinegar. Now, what I read and saw online says 24 hours. Leave this in here for 24 hours, and the rust will be off. Well, I'll see you guys in 24 hours, and we will find out if that's true or not. Hey, it is 24 hours later since we put the tool inside the vinegar. We can see it's done something. There is little bits of a, you can see in there, little bits of rust. So we're about to take it out, and it opens much easier than it did. We'll give it that. Did not do that before. Let's take it out and take a look. It still has plenty of rust on it. So now we're going to brush it off. See what we have. All right. We're going to put it in some plain water, get some of that off. Let's move that over here where it's easier to see. And it does appear some of the rust is gone. It has taken some off, and probably easier than if we had used some of the other chemicals. back in the water. Brush as well. All right, so does it take rust off? It appears it does. That's making it... You still have to do some scrubbing on it, though. I don't know if the type of vinegar would matter. I'm using the cheapest we can possibly get. Go ahead and wipe this off. And as you can see from there, a great deal of the rust is off. And I believe a little bit more time sitting there gently brushing it will probably get it all off. So, does vinegar work? It appears it does. This was soaking 24 hours. 
And like I said, we did this because tools are extremely expensive. And if you're living on a shoestring, you should find, at least I try to find ways, to keep tools and pieces of equipment working for just as long as we possibly can. So if you have any suggestions what you use to get rust off, please put it in the comments. If you think I should have done this a different way, we'll put that in the comments as well. Always like constructive criticism. And of course, if you like this type of video, please subscribe and like it. And shoestring 